think hopefully what we'll have is biomarkers that identify who can have which treatment and maybe biomarkers that identify single agents as being sufficient. We know that for pazopinib and for immunotherapy that it works the percentage of patients. If we're able to select those patients out, that would be that would be ideal because then we decrease toxicity and potentially cost. I think at the moment though, combination probably is going to be the way forward because we don't have those biomarkers to date. I suspect a combination of a VEGF targeted agent with an immunotherapy, probably a PD-1 or a PDL one is going to be the, the first way, first, it's going to be the next step change in first line treatment. And then I think we have to see what else is emerging, particularly on the immunotherapy uh, wave of, of drugs that are coming through.